What up guys, welcome back to another video and today we're going to be doing something a little different Painting So I found this Iron Man guy He can do that and stuff And like He's type of destroyed over the years like If you can see the mask if it gets in if I like go out of the camera Oh, I'm not sure, but it, it's been chewed a lot by my brother. Um, and I've always type of wanted to get another one, but I never was be able to. But then I thought, why get another one when we can just paint it again? So today we're going to be using white paint that I've never opened ever, ever, ever. There we go some white paint that might last and some black paint because I have a big amount of it now I'm just going to start off with the head because that's chewed to death but as you can know that comes off and on so I'm going to take this off so we got that piece there and this piece here now I am going to get the black paint just a bit of it on my brush and I'm just going to basically paint the whole top if you can see this here I'm just going to paint the whole top now this is going to take a bit of time to dry we might need to do another coat but I'm not going to do the whole of the head right not the whole of the head, just a bit of the head. So I can just put it away, wait for that to dry. Now for this, I would actually, you see the bottom piece there? At the very bottom it's type of silver. So I want that to match with the thing, so I'm going to paint that black as well. Right, so we've painted that. We'll have to wait for that to dry. Now, for the body, I've got the head, but always, I, I don't know if you know this, but if you put it on, like, you can type of see the neck. So, this is what I'm going to do. I am going to paint the very bottom. If you can see, I'm painting the very bottom of it, really very, very carefully. So, when I put him on, he doesn't look so goofy. Well, that will probably need a second layer. I'm just going to say, this paint here is, did it just drop that? It's kind of cheap, it's like not that expensive, so it's type of not that good, so it takes a few coverages, but it's still quite good actually. Anyway, now onto here. As you can see there are tons and tons of details. Now I basically need to get rid of a lot of them. My suggestion would just be Oh, if you want to take all your time doing all of like the detail, I don't actually have a fine enough brush, so I'm gonna be all lazy and stuff, and just basically just go in. But I'm still gonna be pretty careful. Now, as I just realised, I forgot something. I'm just gonna quickly go over here and get a paper towel. That's all it is. So after I've done drying it, put it in there. Then I would start getting my paint again for this. 
Alright, so let's start painting it again. Okay. This is actually... I'm really dumb, but um, this is actually harder than it looks. Alright, <laughs> sorry I keep looking over there. This, uh, okay, so if your paint's type of, or gloopy and stuff, I guess, I would just like put some water in it, mix it up. It will take, type will not be good at the end, I mean, at the start, but it will dry out a little faster than the other one here. Um, you don't only have to do this kind, you can like only this colour, you can do any colour you want. As you can see here, I'm not going to spoil everything I'm going to do, but if I get the helmet here, I made this a different colour, and just a sneak peek inside. You can't see it because it's up that side down, but at the top, comment down below if you see what's at the top. Anyway, let me paint this, and then part one will be done. I don't know what that was like, seriously. Okay. And done now guys you might see it seem that looks a little goofy trust me when it dries be pretty good but i have got if you get a different paint don't trust me anyway thank you guys for watching peace out and bye